What's up guys, I'm Danica. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I just got back from the gym. It's Sunday and it's still daylight outside. So I thought I would take this opportunity to film this video that I've been wanting to film for a while. It's a what's in my gym bag video. Now please excuse my appearance because I haven't showered yet. I put some dry shampoo in my hair. I love the Way one, the super dry shampoo. I'm like obsessed with it. So I put a little bit of that in and I'll probably shower and get ready after this video. As some of you might know, I have been on a wellness and like weight loss journey over the past year and a half. Since June of 2019, I have lost about 60 pounds actually when we went into lockdown in hong kong or let I me mean lockdown like soft lockdown where stores and restaurants and bars were closed at night i when we went into lockdown i think i gained about 10 pounds back over the past couple of months so i'm sort of um sort of like restarting the engines right now so i'm starting to go back to the gym because gyms reopened about 10 days ago and my gym situation is that during the week I have I work with a personal trainer at one gym in Hong Kong and then on the weekends and on days where I don't train I go to another gym which is just like a normal membership gym. The gym that I train with my personal trainer at is a private training gym so you can really only go there if you have a personal training session. But I take pretty much the same stuff to both places whenever I go to the gym. I don't take like a bunch of equipment. Um, I don't like carrying that much equipment. I actually, until maybe a couple of years ago, I didn't even really consider myself like a bag person. I think like I started doing like what's in my bag videos on YouTube a bazillion years ago, but I, I'm not somebody who collects a ton of, ton of bags. Like I'm not like a, I don't have like a million bags. I, I generally prefer to not carry a bag whenever possible. If you ask my friends in New York or people I worked with years ago in New York, they, I think they would probably all say that I was like the only weirdo who would show up to work with no bag and just like a phone. So this morning, it's Sunday, I had like a very normal Sunday for me in Hong Kong, which is I got up in the morning and I like to go to the gym when it first opens because one, because it's like the era of COVID and I want to be at the gym when it's like at its cleanest or before everyone like sweats all over everything and touches everything. But I've always liked to do this because the gym is a little bit more empty and you can always get the machines you want and you know, I don't know, I just like places that are less crowded, which is kind of ironic since I grew up in New York and I currently live in Hong Kong, two of the most crowded cities in the world. After the gym, I went to get a coffee and like do a little bit of reading and then after that I did a little bit of shopping so I did buy a pair of sneakers which I'm gonna show you at the end of this video I had every intention of buying another pair of running sneakers because I have so many like lifestyle sneakers because I I've gotten really into sneakers this year because there's been no real reason to put on heels all the events that I you know usually would go to have been canceled this year so I've really gotten into sneakers but I only have one pair of like real like running shoes. I have like trail runners that I like to wear to my training sessions because when I push like the prowler or pull the sled drag, the traction on the trail runners really helps me. But otherwise, like when I'm just going on the treadmill, yeah, I've been wearing the same pair of sneakers for a whole year, which I love. So I meant to buy another pair of running shoes, but I didn't because I got distracted and I saw these, which I will show you at the end of the video. But first, I wanna talk through what's in my gym bag. Now, I am like sort of just a normal, average gym goer. I spend a lot of time at the gym because I'm working on my body composition and I'm trying to lose fat. And it's all part of like a bigger wellness journey for myself. I do feel so much better now than I did a year and a half ago. But I haven't really... I don't like, I watch a lot of these videos and I see people who carry those like, like barbell, dumbbell, like weight wrap things for like hip thrusts and people carry ankle straps and stuff like that. I am not at that point yet. I just carry like normal stuff to the gym. I probably carry too much stuff to the gym. I do carry things like just in case. Um, but anyway, here's what's in my gym bag. So the gym bag that I prefer using the most, and I've used a lot of different gym bags, but this is the one I prefer because it's so light. It is a Lulu, oh my God, it's light, but it's full of stuff. Um, it's a Lululemon running pack. So it is, it's set up 
so you can actually add hydration so you can add like a hydration pack and like run the tube through the strap i don't use a hydration pack unless i'm hiking outdoors the last time i used a hydration pack was probably like three or four years ago when i went hiking in utah and for that i have a i have a camelback that i use when i'm hiking in like the desert and stuff but on a normal everyday basis i just really like any sort of like backpack was designed for running because what I find is that it's not too bulky and it's so light so yeah so it doesn't feel like you're schlepping a bunch of stuff everywhere you go this bag has a bunch of different pockets so there's this one pocket back here so it's like closest to your back and it's padded <laughs> it's padded but it opens like this and what I keep in this pack in this part of the bag is a notebook. I carry this notebook pretty much everywhere I go. This is a combination of like my work notebook for my actual job where I take notes during meetings, but it's also just like a notebook that I use just to like keep notes. So I have this. I prefer a soft cover Moleskine notebook. Um, Moleskin, Moleskine, it's spelled Moleskine, but I say both, Moleskin, Moleskine. Um, I prefer a soft cover because I find it to be easier to use when you like turn pages and write on the other side. Um, it's a little bit lighter to carry and I just, I like it. I feel like I can buy a thicker one. This is like the extra thick one um, if I use a soft cover. So this is the compartment in the Lululemon backpack that I keep my notebook in. If I carry like an iPad or a laptop or something, this, I think this fits like the smallest, smallest, smallest iPad Air. I don't really carry a laptop when I carry this backpack, but if I carry an iPad, I also put it in that compartment just so it doesn't mix with my water bottle and things like that, just in case my water bottle leaks or like my Quest Bar package opens or something like that. On the outside of this bag, there's also a little compartment at the very top here. And up here, I just keep things I need to like grab. It doesn't really fit that much. I guess you could fit like, a small wallet up here if you wanted to or some cards and some money but I keep my gym headbands in here it's so glamorous um, I use a very very light Lululemon headband at the gym actually this is not Lululemon I think this is from like Goody or Scrunchie or something um, I keep a very light headband because I have all these like baby hairs that like does anyone else have this problem um, I have all these like baby hairs that start to stick up and I feel like it looks really, really messy. So sometimes when I go to the gym, I like to wear a headband. Sometimes I forget it. I also carry a lip balm everywhere I go. I have like a bunch of these. Look, this one's all like squished for some reason. This is the Super Goop Acai Fusion Lip Balm. I love this SPF lip balm. Um, if I use an SPF lip balm, it is usually this one. I find it to look really nice without having to use color, but also I like that it's I like that it's squeezy and you don't have to like dip your finger in the thing. And um, yeah, I like that it has SPF 30. I have some Kleenex, like remnant, like there's one left in this package. I'll, you'll find that I have like just little packets of Kleenex everywhere just because, I don't know. I grew up when I was a kid, I had a lot of allergies and so I always had Kleenex on me and it's become a habit now to like adult times. I always have pens on me and I think that's, you know, the journalist and editor in me. These are my favorite, favorite pens. These are the Uniball Vision pens. I like black and blue pens, but I bought these sort of in bulk in black. I love these pens because these are guaranteed to not explode on airplanes, which is great. And you wouldn't think that's a problem until you have a pen explode on a plane, which I did once 10 years ago and never again. Also in my bag, I have one Fenty lipstick. I didn't know this was in there. This is the Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Sheer lipstick and the color is Goji Gang. So it is this pretty sheer, like purpley, maroony color. I'm gonna do the beauty blogger thing. I don't know if this works. I really like it because it's sheer. It's like a little bit of color. Sometimes like, do you ever wake up and your lips have like no color in them? There, I have days like that. So sometimes I'll put this on. Um, now that I'm wearing a face mask all the time and we have to wear masks at the gym, I don't find, I mean, obviously I don't wear lipstick at the gym, but yeah, now that we have to wear masks outdoors, I, I wonder if like lipstick sales have dropped. I have a hair thingy. These are my favorite hair thingies. They're just like the seamless 
ones from scrunchie i find that these also last forever i haven't i haven't had to buy a new pack of these in like over a year so there are two side compartments of this bag sometimes i'll put like just garbage in the side compartments so i don't have to put the garbage in the main compartment but there's no there's no garbage here today which is good news in the main compartment of the bag there's so i didn't even i did not clean this out before i did this video so this is real talk what's in my gym bag the most important thing that's in my gym bag is probably my hydro flask um yeah i i bought a white hydro flask because everyone else has a white hydro flask it's actually really hard to find the large hydro flasks in hong kong um the smaller ones tend to be more popular so i actually bought this when i went home to new york last december and i got it at urban outfitters and then i bought the straw top and i take this one to the gym when i go to do like my cardio and stuff on the treadmill because it has the straw top i have a nalgene bottle that i take sometimes for my training sessions because it's easier to like get more water into myself during the training sessions with like the wide mouth of the Nalgene bottle. But if I'm on the treadmill and I try to drink from a Nalgene bottle, it's like, I'm just like dumping water on myself. There's like no elegant way to drink from a Nalgene on a treadmill. So this is the solution. Um, I fill it up at the gym and then I usually fill it up before I leave the gym too. So I have water just in case if like I go walk around and I want water. See what I mean by these like little hairs that stick up? I thought it was like breakage from wearing my hair in a high ponytail and going to the gym, but I think I've just like always had baby hairs. Anyway, here is like the fun miscellaneous stuff that's in my bag. I don't know if it's fun. It's just like the most, the most the miscellaneous stuff I carry in my bag. I these days have always been carrying an extra mask and the this package is so wrinkled because literally this is like the one that i transfer from bag to bag that's like my extra mask that i carry um this is one of my favorite masks it is the korean k94 mask and i included this in a previous video i did when the whole COVID thing first started in hong kong this kind of mask is a little bit more structured than the standard blue disposable surgical mask um, the Korean K94 masks, they have a bit more structure, so it doesn't touch your face. Well, touch obviously touches your face where the seal is, but it doesn't like touch your mouth and your nostrils. So it's a little bit easier to breathe. They are a lot more expensive than the standard surgical blue masks. So I don't buy these a lot. I just have a stash of these and I use them when I like when it's like extra humid outside or it's like extra hot because then it makes it a little bit easier to breathe or I'll wear them if I'm like this is gonna sound so dumb but I wear like a K94 mask if I'm like dressed up because it's like dressier than the standard blue surgical mask I carry a hand cream with me because lately my hands have been extremely dry um I get like my cuticle I don't really get well partially because like it's just not my habit. Like in New York, I used to go for manicures and pedicures quite a lot. But here in Hong Kong, I don't. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit like more nervous to get them here because I've been to a whole bunch of places here where I, the, the, the tools are not like autoclaved and not sterilized. And so I'm a bit nervous about that. So I have not been getting manicures frequently in Hong Kong. I'll get pedicures like once every two months but the salons have been closed until very, very recently. So anyway, my, my cuticles have been a disaster. My hands have been so dry. I drink tons of water. I just have dry skin. This is the best hand cream I have ever used. It is the Sicily Restorative Hand Cream, and it is very fancy and it's very expensive, and I got this as a PR thing when, um, through my main job. So they sent me this, and they sent me a sleeping mask which is so so good also maybe I'll do a video about that I also always carry a pad with me just in case I have a couple of things to do in my bag um, on the weekends I carry my Smitza notebook with me because like I mentioned in a previous video on the weekends I do pages which is I write about things that I've done over the past week, things that have happened over the past week, and I try to process my own reactions and how I feel over the course of the week through writing about them. Um, 
And then I try to set myself up for closure for the week before and I try to set myself up for expectations for the week forward. So that is what I do as like an exercise every week. And I love my Spice and Notebook so much and I cannot wait to buy a 2021 version. And then I also recently got a Kindle. I am a die hard book person, like printed book person, but because I'm living in Hong Kong now and and honestly, like I like moving from apartment to apartment, it is so hard to move books. It's like the most difficult thing to move because they're so heavy and so bulky. And I don't even know like what kind of container to put them in to move. So I've actually gotten rid of a lot of my books, donated them, given them away, and I rebought a lot of the books I like on Kindle. So I have a white Kindle and I bought this, actually I bought this at a store here in Hong Kong called Bookazine. I am currently reading the brand new Dave Chang memoir called Eat a Peach and it is so good. Dave Chang is a really, really important chef and restaurateur. What else is in here? Oh, this you guys have seen a million times. This is my very inelegant, this is like my like janitor's key ring, but like my Danica key ring like the idea it has all the things I need so this is like my little wallet with my cards on it this is my subway card for Hong Kong look how cute it is it's brown I have my airpods it's all clipped together I have an extra hair thingy and then this is something I recently just got um, I saw it on my friend Melissa this is all tangled up I saw it on my friend Melissa's Instagram and I was like oh it looks so cool and it's for a good cause it's a Sawa bracelet S-A-W-A and it's beaded by women in Kenya and Tanzania, and the money goes directly to the women and their families. And what's so cool about this bracelet, and the reason I have it clipped on here is because it is also an iPhone charger. It's a USB thing, and it is also an iPhone charger. So it's cool, it's really pretty, and the money goes towards a really good cause. I have some more Remnant Kleenex more remnant Kleenex. Hong Kong has like really cute Kleenex packaging, so this is Hello Kitty. This, I have so many of these around because of COVID. I have wet wipes. So many wet wipes. I, oh, I carry this around, but I always forget to use it. This is my favorite brand of collagen hydrolysate, which I actually just add to my coffee usually, hot coffee. I don't put it in cold coffee because it doesn't dissolve correctly, but it's from the brand Great Lakes Gelatin, and I consume the one that is derived from land animals and not shellfish, because I was nervous that I would be allergic to the shellfish. Well, I'm not allergic to shellfish, but once in a while I do get a rash. So yeah. Um, I really like it. I, I find that if I have like a little bit of a twinge in my joints, if I take collagen regularly, it really does help. I don't really know if it changes my skin, but you know, honestly, at this age, anything, anything that'll help. And what else do I have? Oh, I have my handy Studio Fix in C3. I have these are like the super goop lip balm. I just have them like everywhere. Like in every bag there is one. Like I think there's one like behind me somewhere on a desk. They're just all over everywhere in my life. Ubiquitous. Studio Fix C3. And I have some tablets. These are the Claritin Ready Tabs. I don't know if you ever had Ready Tabs. I've never really used Ready Tabs, but I bought these in New York before I came back to Hong Kong last December. And these just, you put them in your mouth, you put them under your tongue and they just dissolve. And I, my allergies have been really, really okay this year. I think in Hong Kong just, it's like humid and hot and like, or at least warm most of the year. So there's not that drastic change of seasons like in New York where you go from winter to summer and the spring. In New York in the spring, even though I grew up there, I, it like destroys me. Like I have like itchy eyes and like a runny nose from basically March until the end of May. But here in Hong Kong, it hasn't been that bad. However, I am slightly, slightly, slightly allergic to dogs and cats. So if I'm going to my friend's house and they have a dog or a cat, I make sure to take one of these before and then everything's fine. And because I am, because I'm an old person, uh, no, because I, just in case, I always have ibuprofen on me. And in the office, I keep a big jar of Advil that I brought from New York. But the other day at home, I don't have any Advil for some reason. I think I just took it all. 
but the other day I had to go buy Advil in Hong Kong and I couldn't buy it at like a normal drugstore like Watson's or Manning's. I had to go to like a proper pharmacy and they had to go get the ibuprofen for me from behind the counter. Like they allowed me to buy it over the counter, but I had to ask for it and they had to go fetch it from somewhere. So I don't know if this is a brand name, but it's called Trifene and I bought the 200 milligram tablets and they come like this, which I really like because I think it's really hygienic to have these sort of like packets where they're individually dispensed. Wasteful, but hygienic. And that's it. That's what's in my gym bag. So yeah, as you can see, I am just like a basic human who goes to the gym and I bring basic things. I feel like it doesn't seem like a lot of stuff, but it's actually like quite heavy when I'm carrying it around. So that's why I use a backpack. Um, I've used like shoulder bags or crossbody bags to go to the gym, but I find it gets like really heavy and I do like to try to get a lot of steps in. So I walk a lot. I try to walk to the gym and I walk back. Both of my gyms are about 20 to 30 minutes from my apartment, so it's a lot of walking. So I carry a backpack and it's very sweaty and it's very hot, but hopefully I'm burning more calories. Anyway, do you guys wanna see the sneakers I got? So in Causeway Bay in Hong Kong, there is a Nike lab store. I don't, re I don't know enough about Nike to know what the difference between like a normal Nike store is and a Nike lab store. I go to like, athletic wear stores all the time. I really enjoy them because there always seems to be something new and I'll pretty much go like if there's well, like the today for example after I went and had a coffee there is a giant Nike next to the Starbucks I go to after I go to that gym and so I went to that Nike I walked around I looked at like like basic t-shirts and stuff like that because I'm always looking for new t-shirts for the gym and for everyday wear and then around the corner there's a Nike lab which I guess has just more designery more like limited edition stuff I like I said intended to buy running shoes but I didn't see anything I liked but then I saw these and I wasn't I wasn't gonna try them on but then I was like well I'm here I'm pretty excited I have never that's not true it's been a long time since I've owned a pair of all black sneakers. I usually buy either really crazy colored sneakers, like I'm currently wearing the Vaporflies to do my cardio, which are like one is teal and the other is orange, like each foot is a different color. Um, and for everyday wear, I tend to like, I tend to prefer white sneakers. I think I, I like that look. I think it's uh, it looks like sparkly and kind of clean and um, it goes with all of my black clothes that I have. So I haven't had a pair of like pure black sneakers in a very long time. Not pro not since like maybe 2017 when I bought some fly knits that were all black and I love them so much. They were like so useful. So I saw these and these are definitely not for exercise. Although I'm gonna try to wear them to my personal training session because I think you can, you can definitely like lift in them. You don't like, it's not required. Unless, unless, I don't know. We'll see. Ready? These are the Nike Air Max Ups. Air Max Up? The Nike Air Max Up. Look at that crazy heel. It sticks out so much. Anyway, it is a all black shoe. It's made of this like shiny fabric and it has like this iridescent, almost like I got it because I liked it because it reminded me of the 80s and early 90s, this iridescent purpley heel that sticks out like this at an angle. And then the air thing, the air part is down here. You see, like it's like the clear air part is below that. This is the sole. It's pretty flat, so that's why I think I can lift in it. And yeah, it's very, it's like too cool for me. It's almost like space age. And I saw them in the store and I was like, oh, like I kind of want to try them on. And then I wasn't sure. I was like, I don't really need another pair of lifestyle sneakers for everyday wear. But then I Googled them in the store and that's when I was like sold. I Googled them and it said that these sneakers, the Nike Air Max Up sneakers, are designed specifically for a woman's foot and her stance. And I was like, well, now I have to try them because I need to understand what Nike thinks a woman's foot and stance are. And I try them and I love them. They are so comfortable, so stable. Like they feel, they feel like, 
I mean, they feel great because they're sneakers and I love sneakers, but they feel like, they just feel very stable. And I don't know if that makes any sense. I think I have tried a lot of sneakers from Nike and many brands where I feel like my, my ankle can roll. I do have ankles that do tend to roll. I've sprained both ankles so many times over my life. So I'm always looking for a, for a sneaker where I'm putting it on. I'm like, this is it. Like I'm stuck to the ground. I can't, I'm not gonna like wobble side to side. My ankles feel secure and these feel so great. So I'm so excited to wear them a lot. And I also feel like it's nice to have some non super white sneakers that'll take me into fall and potentially winter. Not like it ever really gets cold in Hong Kong. Anyway, that is my what's in my gym bag video. And those are my new sneakers. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go take a shower and like get started with my like normal real day now. I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend and I will see you next time.